Join us this week as we snorkel with the turtles and explore 100-year-old shipwrecks in beautiful Barbados. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities in the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Do you feel like you're on a boat show? Yeah. yeah. So this is the first time we've been to a sandal in how long? Uh, seven years? Seven years, something like that, maybe. We're excited. Can't wait. We need a vacation. We haven't had a vacation yeah. yet. Here, bring the camera closer. Well, I can't, my arms are too short. <laughs> well, we're, we're back at Sandals. And if you zoom in, there's a bit of a reef. But they do have Hobie cats. Where are the Hobie cats? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, they're right there, I see them. So we'll do that. There's a red flag out today, so. Oh, and look, if you zoom over here, look at the reef breaking. That's rough today. I think they just put in a breakwater right there to kind of make it easier on the beach here. Yeah. Hopefully we can do some paddle boarding and some... Here's our pool. Okay. Not far from our room. Got a pretty nice room here. Yeah, I think the first thing we need to do is keep the door closed. Here's our room. We got a lovely gift. This is our, I don't know, eighth or ninth trip to Sandals. Mm -hmm. And then here is our poster bed. Yep, the bone, uh, the toe crushers. Well, it's not that. It's, it has this, this, this frame. Oh, yeah, shoot, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that I forgot. But a very nice room with a lovely view. This is a club terrace beach, oceanfront beach room. So I'm excited to be here. They are cleaning up the sargasm. It's sitting here pretty good. So to give you an idea of how much sargasm, see all this dark? That is the seaweed in the surf. And the tractors are cleaning it up. And this is just in Barbados, which is really far south. It is a nuisance. Wouldn't want to swim in it. Yuck. It is really rough here today. We've got winds at 24, sustained, and then gusts of 31. This beach has a red yellow flag, and the one on by us is a red flag. A little bit of a sargasm problem. These guys are surfing. Well, I don't know how much of this video anyone will see, but it's been a uh, very, what do you think, cloudy day. Yeah, it's cleared up at least for the evening. We're going this way? Yeah, go that way and then we we'll go Okay, way. so rain today, most of the day, cloudy. This is what the weather looks like. But we're still on vacation. We're still in Barbados. Yeah. So t Tuesday we're gonna go on a snorkeling cave thing, and then Wednesday we're gonna go see downtown Barbados. So we'll take you along. Go see the whole island. Yeah. So you won't see much of the resort. There's not much. I mean, there's lots to see here, but this is definitely not about sandals or the trip. It's not a sandal for you. No. This is about going to Barbados for the very first time. So uh, we will bring you along, tell you what it's like. So we are, <laughs> we managed to find snacks. Oh, that's a pretty good one. You're gonna need a massage tomorrow, my arm's gonna be sore. 
This is pretty cool. Look at bowl. So close. I was rooting for you. Well, good morning. We are on yet another adventure. This time we are where? Barbados. We are in Barbados. And we've been here a few days just relaxing at a resort. And today we're going to take a catamaran yep. and go sailing to Carlisle Bay and supposedly go snorkeling with turtles, we'll see. fish, and uh, a few other things okay. so uh, come along and let's see what it's like and if you are new here thank you for coming along please hit the subscribe button we'd really appreciate it and if you're coming back well welcome back nice to see you so let's see what Barbados is all about okay. cool runnings so yeah I think we go with that. We go with those guys side by side. Barbados is known for its impressive number of sea turtles, and in Carlisle Bay, they are easy to spot against the white sand of the shallows. Even if you just stay on the boat or on the beach, you can spot some turtles catching air on the surface. Although there wasn't a lot of sea life. Just seeing the turtles was worth it. After a while, we repositioned the boat a few hundred yards away for our next snorkeling adventure. Carlisle Bay is home to no less than six shipwrecks. At no more than 200 yards offshore and laying in the relatively shallow waters, they are an adventure waiting for snorkelers and divers. We snorkeled the oldest wreck in Carlisle Bay Marine Park, the Berwyn. It was a French naval vessel that was reportedly scuttled by her own crew in 1919 to avoid returning to post-World War I Europe. Can you blame them? The Berwyn sits between 7 and 10 feet below the surface, depending on the tide. And as a result, the calm water in the bay and the age of the wreck, the Berwyn is covered in marine life, including healthy, hard and soft coral growth and plenty of beautiful fish. After snorkeling, we spent the afternoon cruising north where we hung out in the beautiful blue waters. The locals come out to offer you to rent personal watercraft or to be towed behind their boats. We tend to just hang out on the boat.
soon enough, it was time to head back. Yesterday we went on a sailing catamaran yep. and uh, we didn't f give you any kind of uh, outro, if you will, afterwards because we were so tired after being out on the water yeah. all day long. Uh, beautiful waters here in Barbados, absolutely stunning. Um, and today we're going to do a land-based tour. Yeah, you're going to see what the country is all about. It's always nice to get out of the resort and uh, see what the land has to offer. So looking we've, forward to it. We've hired a private um, cab driver to drive us around for about four hours. So hopefully we enjoy it. We've always liked it on every other island we've done this on. So yep. we're Come along. bring you along and see what it's about. Barbados is situated in the Atlantic Ocean, east of the other West Indy Islands. Barbados is the easternmost island in the Lesser Antilles. It is 21 miles long and up to 14 miles wide. It lies about 104 miles east of St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is flat in comparison to its island neighbors to the west, the Windward Islands. The island rises gently to the central highland region known as the Scotland District, with the highest point being Mount Hillaby at 1,120 feet above sea level. In the parish of St. Michael lies the capital and main city, Bridgetown containing one-third of the country's population. On November 30th, 1966, Barbados gained independence and became a Commonwealth realm with Elizabeth II as Queen of Barbados. On November 30th, 2021, Barbados transitioned to a republic within the Commonwealth, moving from a monarchy to an elected president form of government. We started our tour by driving down Rihanna Drive to see Rihanna's childhood home. It's hard to believe, but from such humble beginnings, she's become one of the richest self-made women in the world, worth an estimated 1.4 billion, with a B, dollars. One thing our driver pointed out was that it's harder and harder to find young Barbadians who are willing to enter the trades and learn from the older artisans on the island. For instance, the lack of new boat builders results in many boats falling into disrepair. Maybe Allie and I should consider one of these as our project boat. No trip would be complete without a stop at Mount Hillaby to take in the incredible views of the island from its highest point. Local vendors take advantage of the site to showcase their wares to the tourists. Heading back into town, we stop by St. James Church, which is located in Holtown. It is the oldest church in Barbados. Established in 1628, after years of hurricane damage and general decay, the church was rebuilt in 1874 and consecrated in 1875. The sense of history surrounds you as you walk through the cemetery grounds. What life must have been like here so many years ago. 
As you enter the church, its beauty lies in the simplicity of design and structure, featuring an organ with pipes dating back over a hundred years. The original bell, the oldest in Barbados, carries the inscription, God bless King William, 1696. It was manufactured by the Whitechapel Bell Foundry, which also produced the Liberty Bell and Big Ben. It fell from the belfry in 1881 and was badly cracked. However, considering its historic value, it was sent back to England for repairs and returned to Barbados to be retained as a monument, which predates the American Liberty Bell by 56 years. Good morning. <clears throat> Today is our last day in Barbados. Yep. and four hours from now we'll be home already. Yeah, and we figured that we should at least go into town, uh, which is St. Lawrence. It's not the main part of right town. Now, we've already, yeah, it's not Bridgetown. We've already been there just to check out a few shops, maybe yep. grab lunch, then we'll come back and relax. But, Hang out at the pool for the last few hours. But we've got to at least do a little bit of, um, well, here comes a loud truck. Yeah. So let's go into town and see what it's like. And Sandals is right next door to Turtle Beach. She says it's a 10 minute walk. I remember they drive on the other side of the road, but I think we're running out of sidewalk already. So, yeah, let's see. If we don't get killed, it'll be a miracle. I think this is the sidewalk though. Yep. So apparently we're on this one-way road that you yeah, got the best of Barbados gift shops. Supposedly there's a bunch of, if you were here at night, which we are not, but supposedly all kinds of nightclubs and they say it's pretty safe here. Mm -hmm. We're walking down just during the day, see what kind of shoppings they have. It is Good Thursday of Easter week, or Holy Thursday, so things may be closed. This is a fairly religious island, but we'll see what we find. This is a little corner market, and that is where there is an ATM in. You've got all kinds of access to beaches, which is down that way. Let me see the water. Another little restaurant here. These are probably condos, I'm gonna guess. It's also an ATM right here, and this is like a uh, slots place. And then you got a restaurant here. I'm not sure what that, this must be a condo. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to go up here and we're going to take a left. Looking for waterfront property. This is for sale. Yeah. I think he said it was a fairly famous place, Sharkies. Mm -hmm. Looks really cute. Nice. And the boat yard. Oh, that's the boat yard. And sharkies. No. Mm -hmm. Confusing. Looks good. Yeah. The thing I like about it right off the bat is it's super colorful. And clean. <sighs> and clean. So here you've got the a hotel here. You've got another mini mart. You need to get a bottled water. Coca Cola. I haven't seen a whole lot of shops though. So this looks like this is the heart of the nightlife. You've got 
this place, which looks like a, it's called an ultra lounge, but he referred to it as Caribbean style. Yeah. Still with a DJ and bottle service, which is kind of beyond us. I wonder what kind of team that is. Yeah, some kind of team. Then you've got Carib, Caribbean original. Sign, the way they made it. Yeah. The, uh, pipe fittings. Taboo. Yeah. Very cool. Clever. And cheap. So cute. Oh, oh it's a lot of McNaughties. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Naked waitresses flirt with you. Yeah. Okay, so we walked about 10 minutes. Yeah. And if you can see, this is called the St. Lawrence Gap. That's because it's a one way going through. And it's mostly nightclubs and restaurants mm -hmm. that don't open until 5. Yeah. So don't think you're going to go in and do a lot of shopping. So now we're going to actually just turn around and head back. Yeah, if you want to do shopping, you're going to take a taxi into Bridgetown, the capital yeah. city. And that's where all the shopping is. And so we don't need to do that. We don't so need to do that. We're going to head so. back to the resort and uh, lay by the pool. Alrighty. Scott is missing his drinking buddy.